Damien in Tucson, Arizona writes to me and he says, Paul, do differences between streaming devices make as much difference if using an external DAC? If you have a cheap streamer and a high-end one, both going into a good DAC with a good master clock, do differences in streaming devices make any audible difference? I think that's a tough question because it's, it's, too, it's too broad. And I have to just say yes and no. So take our Air Lens. We make a product called the Air Lens and it is a standalone streamer. It is not inexpensive, but it makes a huge difference going into a good DAC compared to a lower end streamer, okay? Huge difference. Why? Well, the streaming data is identical. Both the cheap uh, streamer and the air lens pull in exactly the same bits from exactly the same place. They're the same. So theoretically, it shouldn't sound any different. And I guarantee you our bits coming out of an air lens are identical in, if you just look at, you know, the, compare the bits coming out of our streamer and the bits coming out of somebody else's streamer, they're identical. Streamers don't make mistakes like that unless there's a hiccup and you can hear that, right? So if the bits are the same, how could they sound different? Well, it goes back to the same thing that digital is not just ones and zeros. It's how those ones and zeros are timed, how those ones and zeros are presented, how much other crap comes along with it, like noise. And mostly it's about jitter. If you if, if each of these streamers has no noise and no jitter, then yes, they will sound identical. But the difference in streamers is significant. The air lens has extremely low jitter and almost no noise. Why? Well, because we have taken and, and built external power supplies, or in, internal, but I mean, um, what am I trying to say? Isolated. Power supplies, they're galvanically isolated. So you have a, all the single board computer, which is basically what a streamer is. It's a, a little computer running its noisy self inside of a box and then without any physical connection between the output of the streamer and the output reclocking circuit that we add to the streamer to feed into the DAC, there is no noise pass through because there's no physical connection. It jumps over the air and gets reclocked and spit out as perfect data. And the same for the input. Those steps are expensive steps. Those are not easy. So a cheap DAC isn't going to do any of that. It's just going to be the small single board computer. It's going to take it in, spit it out. And maybe they do some reclocking. Maybe they don't. But you will hear a difference on that into the same DAC. So a bit of a ramble, apologies for that, but I hope that helps you make sense of this whole crazy Michigas. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.